And then followed up by that is the worst match of the year. And the worst match of the year is... Well, what's your pick for worst match of the year? I have two, but I'm going to go with my first thought. Okay. That's uh, the red light Hell in a Cell. Oh, Bray, Seth and Bray. Bray and Seth, yeah. So, story behind this is in the lead up to Hell in a Cell, myself, uh, I, you, uh, a neutral friend of ours, uh, well, uh, here comes Mongo, Dan. We all decided to go to a house show here in Edmonton for WWE. It was WWE Live at uh, the new hockey arena here in town. And uh, they had a basically, uh, it was a universal title match between Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt, but it was a kind of not really a, a hell in a cell. It was just a number, just a, a normal universal title type thing. And the character came out, and it, apparently it was a rare show for us because we got to see The Fiend wrestle under normal arena lighting. They didn't put the red hue on the lights or anything like that or whatever throughout the show. It was still, I think it was only his third match as that character. Mm -hmm. So it was still a practice run. That's right. Fast forward to Hell in a Cell, and all of a sudden, sex lighting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you... you not only could you barely see anything, you had a, they were in a cage, mm -hmm. um, and multiple finishers, and a DQ finish. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It just, oh, it was, <laughs> yeah, how do you get a disqualification finish in a Hell in a Cell match in which there are no rules? The only way to win is pinfall or submission, so I don't know. That's just one of those deals that... Uh, uh, that's the sands of the hourglass turn so true turned the days of our life or something I don't know but uh, worst match of the year there I, I've I'm trying to think of either if there were any worst ones or not uh, there was there was one um, but you don't watch those events so oh okay well do do tell anyway go ahead and throw that out there um, how would we like to see a 53 year old Goldberg fight a 51 year old Undertaker oh Yes. Okay. So yeah, that was going to be my pick for worst match of the year too. It was so bad they had to bring both characters back later in the year on major cards for make goods. That's what it was. Uh, th yeah, that was the crown. Was that crown jewel? That was crown jewel's main event. Crown yeah. jewel's main event was Goldberg Undertaker. Yeah. Um, man. Yeah, it was such a terrible thing. There's a great documentary uh, on Goldberg on the uh, WWE Network that kind of details his 2019 through the, uh, through everything through um, was this Hall of Fame induction this year or it was wasn't it it was Hall of Fame then, yeah. then Undertaker then and then he fought uh, Dolph that's right and everyone's like well Kellen you should know that you were there I was like well no I wasn't I was watching you know Enzo and Cass jump the barrier at MSG while some legit dude or jumped some the jumped the barrier at the Hall of Fame trying to attack Brett the Hitman hard and ended up eating probably the stiffest right hand shot of the year from Dash Dawson, which was amazing. If you go back and watch the video, that's online about it, and that's a the the just a short right hand or that punch of the year. That, it's an unofficial award here for the Meltzers, but I'll give Dash Dawson the or uh, 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 sorry, Scott Dawson. Yeah, Scott. Dash Wilder. Sorry, not Dash Dawson. The Dash Wilder, the punch of the year. I'll give I'll give Dash the pass of, uh, or the. Uh, so I'll give Dash the punch of the year. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and yeah, just a quick short right hander, rocking a really awesome chalk line heart foundation uh, satin jacket too. So his fashion choice for the night was on par, and. Uh, between, I became huge fans that night of Travis Brown, who's Ronda, Ronda Rousey's husband, and uh, Dash Wilder, just for what they did. They were amazing people. So, you know, yeah, kudos. both, the, both Dawson, Dash and Dawson came out, and Travis, and I think uh, Big E was also in the fray. And Yeah. So, there we go. So that's the uh, worst match of the year. We had our two picks there. and never mind.